Let me ask you this. How many motherfucking movie premieres you went to where you was able to smoke dope? This what I was saying. Nigga. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Talk to me. If you didn't know, you don't know, and you will know because you won't know. We inside the GGA News Network. I'm your host with the most finding Nemo, AKA Nemo Hoes, and I got a special guest on the show right now. My nephew, yes sir. What's happening, Mr. man? Mr. Montana. What up, loved one? Man, here. Pleasure hey, to be here. Yeah, it's a pleasure to have OG. you on, loved one. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so happy to see you doing your thing, man. You're, you're popping off city to city. You got the hottest shit on the streets. You got, you know, you got songs with everybody. You got the hot, I mean, you mean you burning the clubs up right now. You know, I go around the world in club to club, city to city, titty to titty. You are the man, <laughs> the myth, the legend right now. Nah, for sure, man, hard work. You so, know? so how long you been rapping for? Um, man, I've been rapping for like, you know, you always got love for music, so mm -hmm. it's almost like we always rap forever. Mm -hmm. I really started taking it serious when my first check came in. Mm, that, as you should. When you, you know, seen you could get paid, like, right? <laughs> when you seen it was a motherfucking <laughs> chip to the motherfucking dip, this is a seen, real hobby. <laughs> when I seen you could do something you love for a paycheck, I fell in love with it. That's what it was. That's it. So how did you get your name, Fritz Montana? Um, you know, um, so I was born in Africa, in Morocco, and I came here when I was young. So they had the whole French background back there and the whole Muslim thing going on. So mm -hmm. when I came in with that, then you know, the Montana's come, you know, from hustling, you gotta get out here how you get it. Exactly. And they was just something I was stuck with. They was calling me that I ain't make it up. They just started like. So you was named that. It ain't like you just came up with the nah, name. That's what the people. That's what I'm the saying. The people's was, champ. Yeah. When did you come to the States? Um, I came when I was like 13. So your yeah. first language is French? Yeah, French. And they, they speak like broken Arabic over there too, because mm -hmm. everybody Muslim. Mm -hmm. And English was like my third. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But, so um, nigga, you trilingual? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I forgot, I got so high, I forgot every language. Now I only speak <laughs> English, I'm getting paid. So I, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga that got so much money, he didn't forgot how to speak the other native language that he normally. I want to get that the rich. Languages. I only if speak I forget one. how to speak jive talking nigga slang, because I done made so much money, nigga be like, hey, Snoop, huh? Tabulika. Nothing for taking to me. No, no. I never been to Morocco. Nah. Nah. Oh, I'm going to tell you how I know I want to go, because nigga, I was in, in uh, San Tropez and Usher was what a motherfucker from Morocco that had about 75 bad ones with him, and they was yeah. on a yacht. Yeah, that's how they do it. And he was like, I'm on my way to Morocco. Yeah. Which one you want, huh? Yeah. Um, I want <laughs> uh, that one. The one you want. <laughs> and he gave her to me, too. The one he was with. I shall love you, my nigga. You was a real nigga on the bitch, man. <laughs> Some niggas go real, you know, stupid on the bitch, man. The bitch don't belong to you. She belongs to the game. She belongs to the game at gmail. Thank you. Let the bitch go. Let her be what she's going to be. You know what I'm saying? We need to come out with our own website called Be She Belongs to the Game. Dot. We're going to make it dot org. Okay. Yeah, I like that better. <laughs> just, just to throw y'all off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she belongs to the game. <laughs> dot org. <laughs> yeah. This is real tough. Besides, like, when I first that really made me want to do it, it was probably All Eyes on Me and Doggy Style. For real? For real. Like, that's when I was like, man. Them two records? No, no, no Doggy Style, the albums. The album Doggy yeah, Style? Yeah, your first joint and um, Tupac, Where All Eyes on Me. When was you when that record came out? Um, when that record came out, when Doggy Style came out, I was, I was in Morocco when that came out. For real? They was banging me over there? Yeah. But what was it about that gangster shit? I think that you no, I, to? I just think I just think that music is the only language everybody speak worldwide. That's what it was. It's it was not the music. matter what anybody's saying in the music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell that you got to tell the people because see, you was in a rhythm, different world. That rhythm mm -hmm. and that vibe to the music is the only language that everybody speak worldwide. Mm -hmm. That's why. So it's not is. even the attitude; it's the rhythm. It's the music and the music. Get yeah. it? So now y'all don't have to put so much negative energy into a record. You can have fun and put the right rhythm and yep. the right energy, and you'll project what you're looking for. So what's up with the, uh, excuse my French, when did that album come out? Uh, May 21st. Uh-oh, it's coming soon. Yup, yup. Oh my God, is that the one I heard the other night when you was yep. playing all the monsters? That's the one I was playing off the album. At least I wanted to let you hear four or five. Oh my God. 
And I'm not Thank putting you, no bro. cut on it now. One thing about me, I'm a real nigga. If your shit wasn't right, I wouldn't just clown you on the show and be mm-hmm. like, nigga, your shit ain't right. But when your shit mm-hmm. is all the way super, super tight, I got to give you that, nigga. You got one of the hottest records from to come out this year. I'm going to tell you no lie. Thank you, baby, when bro. I sat up in that motherfucker and I heard it and I felt it and I seen the energy and the, the way your shit kick off and the way it do what it do. And then what you got right now, you got a, a good fan base right now yeah. that's already on standby. Niggas is like this waiting on you to come with some more heat. And you you ain't you ain't letting a nigga down by by no means. Your shit is hot to death. Thank you, bro. But you developing a, a reputation for coming out with nothing but bangers. How did you get that ear for for knowing a fucking hit record? That's what I want to say. Cause I was in the studio with you the other night, nigga. You played some motherfucking monster jams, yeah. some real hit records. I came up out there and I was telling all my niggas, I said that nigga Montana album is smoking. Mm-hmm. His motherfucking his selection with picking beats is off the hook. His rap style is in pocket. He know who to put on his motherfucking Thank songs. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, what did yeah. you pick up that, that, that's coaching credentials, you know what I'm saying? To be mm-hmm. able to coach a project and mm-hmm. put it together and make it sound right. Where you pick that quality up? I just think it's love for music. You know, that's like how you love music. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I just feel like, I just pick the beats that I love. I don't pick none, you know? Like sometimes you might just be in the studio and it might be a young, a young producer that's got the, the knocking beats, and it might be somebody that come in that's gonna take your whole budget from you. Come in, they give you the fake head nod the whole time mm-hmm. and everything. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you got somebody that come in with just that knock, and you feel it, be like, man, this is what I want. I just love, you know what I mean? Like working with hungry producers. And I, I love how Puff building a real empire over there. You got you, Cassie, King yeah, Lowe's, MGK. You know what I'm saying? What can we expect, you know, next from Bad Boy? Y'all gonna do something together? Is it gonna be a Bad Boy tour? Is it gonna, what, what's going um, on? I mean, I don't Bad know. Bad boy. I don't even know, man. I think, um. Nigga, I was there when Bad Boy was created, nigga. You understand yeah, me? That Puffy been my friend that yeah. long, my nigga, on some real shit, nigga. That's some legendary shit. So to see, you know, Puff still here, still giving opportunity, still shining, getting all that money with that Ciroc. Now he got the water game. Yeah. I mean, Puff, I don't even think Puff care about rap. Now he may have he may be the only nigga he may be the only nigga that got better animals than me. I'm pretty sure he got a zoo up in that motherfucker. I would not want to out orangutan him. Puff, I'm not calling you out, nigga. Leave that shit in the closet. Nigga, I'm not trying to fuck with you. Nigga, I seen you pull out some shit, nigga. That nigga pulled out a dinosaur coat on a nigga one night. <laughs> For real, nigga. <laughs> nigga shit dragged all the way down the street, nigga. The three quarter joint. Nigga, this nigga puffs a monster on getting fly, nigga. Don't fuck with him. <laughs> well, I hope everyone knows how serious global warming really is. I mean, all the ice in Antarctica is melting and we're all gonna drown and float off into the ocean. The water will cover the sand. There will be no beach. We'll just all drown. I did not go to school for meteorology. I am definitely not a meteorologist. I don't think I have any more weather forecasting for today. Hey Prince, I got this little show, this little thing I do on my show, right? Uh-huh. Called uh, Finish the Sentence. Yep. I'm gonna start it, you finish it. All right. If I could work with anybody, I would work with? My team and the OGs. For sure, for sure. If I could smoke with anybody, dead or alive, I would smoke with. The Godfather, Snoop Dogg. Oh, man. yeah. Well, here's a. An- light one up for here's, that one. Here's another one. <laughs> yeah. What you mean, what kind I of thought I told you that? that we won't stop. I thought I told you that we won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you could uh, have any bitch right for one night to do what you tell her, like Jack told Stella, who would it be? Ooh. Try to get me in trouble. It's just a. Uh, it's, this is a part of the show where it's, it's more of a fantasy. <laughs> you know, cause you know, it's a fantasy. Everybody know I got a wife, and she know I got fantasies. I fantasize sometimes. I wish I could have Holly Berry. And <laughs> yeah, she know that shit. I said it a hundred times. I'm gonna keep saying it. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker, fired as a motherfucker. She know it. <laughs> she even said. I heard my wife say it once. Oh, she's pretty. She is fine, ain't she, boo? When she said that, that opened everything up. <laughs> you just need one compliment and it's just on you. Go on, say it, friend. Say it, nephew. Who, who one, would it be? You no, know why you might want to not say her name? Because she might be with somebody that might get him mad. And... But he got to know he got a bad bitch. 
Like, I say this and I mean this, if a nigga was to come on TV and be like, if, if you could have any woman for one night, who would it be? And niggas say, I want Snoop wife. Nigga be like, yeah, nigga, I got a bad bitch, nigga. <laughs> Motherfucking right you want her for one That's night, That's why nigga. I love you. I said, God, That's why I love you. <laughs> That's why I love uh. <laughs> yeah, I take it all the right way. I don't take nothing the wrong way. I got you. I heard you. For real, for real. I mean, though, man, I got to give it up. I know he's interviewing me, but it's just like nobody could do what he did and go just make it an album, a Jamaican album, and just have all the realest people in it and do it. It takes somebody that's that's so big that you can't do nothing about, that you can't control nothing. This is the OG, triple OG, and guess what? I'm about to drop this joint. Mm. Cause I could do what I want to do regardless. And you do know that. And all the cock sucker suck a cock. Man. I want to thank you for coming by the show, man. You know, we well, appreciate thank you. you for having me. I love me. you, man. Anytime you. you want to come by and get it off and talk about what you got coming and Let me out. tell you something. Any show you come in and drink, smoke, and just kick it with your dog, that's what it is. Yeah. Anytime, all the time. GG, and that's what we do, love, on the door. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know. Hey, what's happening? It's your boy, Fresh Montana. It's a pleasure. West Fest TV. Just being able to have a chance to rock with the OG, triple OG. I like to come over here and fuck with the OGs in the West Side. Yes, sir. French Montana, holla at your boy. So come get high with us, drink with us, and just enjoy what we talking about, because you need to hear it. It might help you out at gmail. Yeah. Dot com. No, it's, um, she belongs to the game. Dot org. Yeah. Okay, don't ask me. Ask the bitch. Ask uh, huh? Yeah, because she could tell you way better than I can. <laughs> we can always is. You want to get place. high while you're doing the interview. You want to get drunk while you're doing the interview. For real, though, right? You wanna, but you really want to be, you wanna be relaxed. I want to somebody and just be like, feel like you're answering the same questions all day long. So when did, you, when did your career begin for you, and how did you... Uh, <laughs> want to hear that shit, Like, maybe? for real. I don't want to be somewhere you asking me the same questions as everybody. I want to talk to my dog. Yeah, like, and get some real That's game. how you get the real. The real seasoning sauce. So you that know? way when you out there strengthening the world with your game, you just add a few more pieces to the puzzle. You know what I'm saying? You just keep expanding and keep growing. Exactly. And keep doing it. Church. Preach. Tabernacle.